Good evening. I thought I would do a little uh, unboxing of some new uh, chain rings that I got. These are the uh, Rotor No Q uh, chain rings, so they're not ovalized at all. Uh, I prefer round. I don't think uh, uh, there's some very good anecdotal evidence that the uh, that the non-round chain rings help, uh, but uh, I just decided to stick with round anyway. Uh, this is a 52 tooth right here, and uh, this is their arrow chain ring. Um, we can uh, see how much it weighs in at. Okay, it's probably hard to see what that's reading, but uh, it's telling us it's about 137 grams for the 52. And the smaller chain ring is a 39 tooth. And uh, I had a hard time finding published data on what the smaller one weighed. But it looks like it's coming in at 38 grams. Which I thought that it felt very light to me. When I got it out of the package I was very surprised. Because I was sort of mentally comparing it to this, uh, this other chain ring I believe. Um... I don't want to say who the manufacturer is because I'm not 100% certain, but this is a uh, this is a steel chain ring. It's a 42 tooth, and it just feels immensely heavier. Oh my goodness, that's crazy. So th this 42 tooth steel chain ring is the same weight. Uh, it's actually heavier. No, 131. It's it's practically the same weight. As this, uh, as this 52 tooth arrow chain ring here by Rotor. That's incredible. So, uh, I guess you get what you pay for. This is, this is a very cheap one here. Uh, these are a little bit more expensive. You can tell they're made out of aluminum. Um, if you look in the back here, they've done a great job of um, milling out the material and leaving in the, uh, the ridges there for, for strength. So this is going to be a uh, cool looking set. These are actually going to be matched up here with this power to max power meter. Uh, and the 3D uh, rotor 3D cranks. So that's what she's going to look like when she's done. Pretty nice. Thanks for tuning in.